Yeah, so it's uh, the angle is getting bigger and bigger. All right, now let's go to the next section, and that's on planes or equations of planes. And uh, the previous section was on lines. Now we're looking at planes. So, although a line in space is determined by point and a direction, a plane in space is more difficult to describe, and that brings us to the vector equation of a plane. So a single vector parallel to a plane is not enough to convey the quote direction of a plane, but a vector perpendicular to the plane does completely satisfy its direction. Yeah, for example, if you had a plane like this, and then if, if you had a parallel vector, well, it could have multiple of them, so it's not uh, specifying a direction, but you only have, well, one parallel, uh, I mean, one perpendicular vector to it. Yeah, so this is specifying its direction. Uh, if you shift it over, it's still the same uh, uh, vector there. You're just shifting the position, it's the same thing. Whereas a parallel one, you're gonna have different actual directions there. These are actual different directions, but it's still parallel. Now it's going further. So thus a plane in space is determined by a point P, yeah, P naught with the coordinates X naught, Y naught, Z naught in the plane and a vector N that is orthogonal to the plane. And uh, this orthogonal or perpendicular vector N is called a normal vector. So let P of uh, yeah, with coordinates x, y, z be an arbitrary point in the plane, and let R naught and R be the position vectors of P naught and P. Then the vector R minus R naught is represented by P naught to P uh, as a vector as shown in the figure below. So let's graph this whole thing out. So what I'll do is first I'll draw the plane first. Draw a big one like this. So let's say we had a plane like that. All right, make this a bit better. All right, so we have that, and now let's draw the uh, z-axis. It's gonna go like this, and I'll make it dash line dash dash across, and then here just to signal uh, signify it's 3D, and then it's gonna go dash dash dash, and goes across it like this. So this is the y. And there is our x coordinate uh, yeah uh, x-axis so yeah so let's draw all these out let's draw first the uh, orthogonal vector I'm gonna draw actually let's do the point first let's go P right here so let's say we have a point P and has coordinates X Y Z so an arbitrary one like that and now let's draw a point here this one here we will call this uh, this is gonna be our PO so let's call this P O, and then its coordinates are X naught, Y naught, and Z naught. All right, so we have this. Let's fix this up. And now let's say we have a orthogonal uh, vector n, and let's say let's draw a big line like that. This is going to be our n vector, and it's going to be parallel. I mean, a uh, perpendicular or orthogonal. And let's say we have a vector here from here to here. And this one right here is uh, perpendicular to it and is sticking out of the page or yeah, towards the out of the page. So, and uh, this right here, let's say we had the position vectors now, and this is the origin. And this is going to go from here and then dot, 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 all the way across to this. This one is going to be our R naught vector. And then this one here is, goes across here and then goes all the way across here, dot, dot, dot. This is going to be our R vector just a regular R vector. And then the difference between here and here is just a difference. So we'll have R naught, uh, yeah, R minus R naught. Because again, you could use the uh, triangle law, so you'll have R naught plus this equals this. So then I move that around, you'll get the difference. So anyways, it's gonna be R naught like that. And yes, yeah, so this is gonna be R minus R naught. All right, now that we have this, uh, going further, so the normal vector n is orthogonal to every vector in the plane. So it doesn't matter where the vector is, where you choose your uh, p, uh, uh, p uh, value there, it could be here, it could be here, etc. It's all going to be um, perpendicular. This n is going to be perpendicular to it. So in particular, n is orthogonal to this vector r minus r naught, and using the fact that the, that the dot product is zero, for perpendicular vectors, uh, we have, and here's a link to my earlier video. So we have, we're gonna have just, well, the dot product of the normal vector, 
to any vector on the plane, such as r minus r naught, this is going to equal to zero because it's perpendicular. And so that's our plane equation. And let's box this whole thing in. And now uh, this above equation, uh, this can be rewritten as, we'll multiply this n times r and then uh, minus n times r naught and move that over to the other side. Uh, we'll just write it as uh, n times, uh, I mean n dot, so it's a dot product, equals to, let's make it bigger. So this is going to be n dot r vector, and then this equals to, again, it's a dot product, not just a multiplication. This is going to be now, it's going to be, and then you shift it over to the other side, n dot r, uh, r naught vector. So you could write the equation of a plane in vector form in both of these formats. And move this up. And uh, yeah, so either uh, equation above is called a vector equation of the plane. And uh, let's go further and now look at now the scalar equation of a plane. So to obtain a scalar equation for the plane, we write uh, the uh, normal vector n with its components a, b, c. And let's say r has components x, y, z, and the r naught vectors uh, components x naught, y naught, z naught. Then the vector equation becomes, so let's write this out. So we have n vector dot, this is going to be uh, r minus r naught equals zero, and then plug in uh, everything into it. This is going to be, now it's going to be, well, the n is uh, a, b, c, so this is going to be a, b, and c uh, dot, and this is going to be now, well, uh, these are subtracting uh, from each other. Yeah, so just uh, subtract these vectors. So it's going to be x minus x naught, and then y minus y naught, and then z minus z naught components, uh, put a triangle bracket, equals zero. And now when you do the dot product, this is just a summation where this multiplies by this plus and then this multiplied by this, and then this multiplied by this plus. So you add them all together. So let's do that, and that's going to be equals to a x minus x naught, and yeah, so a minus, I mean uh, a times x minus x naught plus b times y minus y naught plus c, and then z minus z naught. Now this whole thing equals a zero, and there's our equation of a plane, or scalar equation of a plane where there's no vectors involved. Yes, uh, so uh, this above equation is again called the scalar equation of a plane through the point p naught, x naught, y naught, z naught, with normal vector n equals to a, b, c uh, components, or has a, b, c components. All right, going further, so example four, so this one states, find an equation of the plane through the point two, four, negative one, with normal vector two, three, four. Then we're asked to find intercepts and sketch the plane. So let's go over here. So putting in, uh, so this is the normal vectors n, so n is equals a, b, c, equals to two, three, four, and p naught that goes through this point, so p naught's x naught, y naught, z naught, that's gonna be two, four, one. And so we plug that into the scalar equation of a plane, uh, we obtain, so we throw that in there. So we obtain, so a is two, so two and then x minus x naught is gonna be two, plus, and then it's gonna be right here, uh, three. Yeah, that's three right here, times it by y minus, and then y naught is four. Uh, and then plus, uh, this is gonna be, uh, the next one is gonna be four. And then this is gonna be right here, uh, z minus, this negative one, that's gonna be plus one, equals a zero. All right, so we have this. Now we could just uh, simplify this further, multiply this inside. So we're gonna get two x minus two times two, two, two times negative two is negative four. And this is gonna be plus, and then three times y minus, and then three times four is 12, so there's a minus 12, plus next one, four z plus four equals to zero. So let's do some simplifications. Well, there's a minus four, there's a plus four, these can cancel. And then what we're left is, well, there's a negative 12 right there. So we can just move that over to the other side and then put everything else neatly to it. It's gonna be a two X and plus three Y 
plus 4z equals to 12. So there's our equation of a plane. Yeah, that's our simplified equation of a plane, but technically we could have just stopped right here. So we could have stopped right here, and box this out, or we could do or, and then put it right here. All right, and uh, now going further, so the next step is, well, to find intercepts and sketch the plane. So we find the equation of a plane, and we're going to find intercepts. Uh, so to find the x-intercepts, we set the uh, y and z equals to zero, and then we could find uh, yeah, the point that crosses that x-intercept. So if we set the y z equals zero in this equation, and we can obtain, uh, yeah, we'll obtain x equals six. In other words, let's just throw that in there. We'll just, uh, just double check our work. Two plus, I mean, two x. Plus, well, this is all zero. Plus zero, plus zero. This equals a 12. And again, move the two over or divide it out. So x equals to six, like that. And then similarly, the y intercept is four and the z intercept is three. And we can uh, check this out. Yeah, now we could double check this again using this and then do the same thing. So to get the y intercept, we make everything else zero. So we're going to get a, a zero plus three y plus zero equals to 12, like that. And again, divide by three, uh, this is gonna be y equals to four. And then similarly for the z, we make everything else zero. So we're just gonna get zero plus zero equal, uh, plus uh, four z equals to 12, and then divide by four, yeah, 12 divided by four is gonna be three. So z equals to three. All right, so now that we have the intercepts, and uh, this enables us to sketch the portion of the plane that lies in the first octant. In other words, that's all the um, positive values. And so again, we're asked to sketch the plane there. So it's going to look something like this. So we have the, uh, the uh, intercepts. So if we draw this out, you know, I'm gonna do this, this is the z. I'm going to move this down until a point where we get the z equals 3. That's going to be the point 0, 0, and then 3. And then, uh, and then downwards is going to be like this. And then going further, uh, now if we draw the uh, other coordinate, the next one is the y is 4, so that means it's going to go like this. It goes across uh, all the way until the 4. And this is going to be right here, uh, this point. This point is going to be uh, 0 is the x, 4 is the y, and then 0 is the z. And this is going to be our y. And then so then run a line like this. This is just the first octant. All right, now the next one is 6. So it's going to be further out. Be like this dash across. All the way across. Let's say it goes uh, something like this. I guess it's here. Okay. So that is going to be, this point's going to be 6, 0, 0. All right. And then this means that it's going to be a triangle like that. Triangles is basically the side that's on. Yeah, it, it, this is a triangle that's in the first octant forms a triangle. But then afterwards, it's going to this whole plane is going to go below this uh, y uh, x y plane. All right, and then extend this out. Um, this is going to be our x like that. All right, yeah, so that is the graph, and we can go further, and let's graph this using the GeoGebra, GeoGebra 3D graphing calculator. And uh, here's the inputs I did. I just put in the plane 2x plus 3y plus z equals to 12, and there's the points 0, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, and then uh, 6, 0, 0. And then I put the line segments from uh, point 1 to point 2, and then also uh, the point uh, 1 to point 3 segment and point 2 to point 3. Anyways, you get a graph like this. And so again, there's a plane extending way beyond that triangle. Uh, but then you can graph the, the intercepts and then it, get, it forms exactly what we just graphed there. There's point uh, P1003, this is 040, and there's a 600. And I made it to the side so we can see this plane across like that. So again, you could play around with this link there.